think you have to really be a really like a complete sailor like to be able to sail well the first 70 it's not like just uh, speed or just tactics it's like a little bit of everything i'm silvia mas um, i'm patricia cantero and we are sailing the 470 and gonna represent Spain in the Olympic Games. Where the Olympics is gonna be in Japan, I think it's a perfect place for sailing because Japan is a well-rounded place, which uh, has its all kind of conditions. The sailor that is more complete, I think is, is gonna win. It's gonna be a good test. Um, there is all kind of conditions because um, also the, sometimes there is typhoons that are coming or passing and then uh, and I think like it's quite open everything also so it's there is a lot of kind of conditions yes. depending on the direction of the yeah wind. depending on the day also sometimes the wind is uh, onshore or offshore so you get like more shifty or more yeah. steady so you get like a shifty sailing or more like speed raising or yeah, more wind, like uh, waves with the wind or flat. So it's like really, really like, if you're a more complete athlete in all the conditions, that's gonna pay off for sure. Actually, we have been uh, all these years that we have been competing over there. Uh, it's been the same uh, venue, the same club and everything exactly the same. So it's just, we're gonna, gonna go again there for sure. Maybe there are gonna be some modifications just for make it to, for the games, but it's exactly the same. We know which the possible different areas, courses uh, during the games are gonna be. So each year we've tried uh, to sail in each of the areas, do like uh, training, uh, we've been doing some races in all the different areas and also the regattas we've done every year also, they've been like changing areas. So I think we've uh, practically sailed all along the bay in all the different possible spots where we're gonna be competing during the Olympics. We're very lucky, I think, because the Spanish team, we made a, like an agreement with a little town there that's called Sushi. And we've been going to the same place every year and they really treat us super well. And we feel at home with them because the people there are very like caring and uh, loving. And so we really feel the warm in there. And uh, uh, we've been so much time there that uh, I, I think we really like it, both of us. Also, we love the food. Uh, so I could say that, yes, we really feel at home there and comfortable, so we'll be good. <laughs> we like to go to the little restaurants and uh, like very there traditional. Are very traditional small restaurants in the little towns or, or there near Enoshima or Sushi. And uh, like, we love it because we just uh, go there and we sit and it's maybe just like, us if we're for whatever with the cook and they even make the sushi in front of you so it's like really really like homemade and like traditional and the people they love like when us foreigners come and uh, to the place and we talk to them so it's really a nice experience yeah we we feel like uh, we are regulars on that restaurant and um, we follow each other on Instagram, we send messages, and then uh, also they were missing us this last summer because we couldn't go through the, through the COVID. And they are really waiting for us to come back and us to go there to have dinner. With this extra year with COVID, uh, we decided that we needed to take advantage of a bad situation and just like work, the, work as hard as we could. To, uh, to be better prepared for the Olympics. So I think ever since we could go back to the water, we've put many, many hours and a lot of uh, motivation and work. And I think that's what's been showing in the last regattas, all the work we put with our teammates and our coach and together. <laughs> <laughs> this last year that we have been training, um, I think, because we saw the opportunity of having one more year through to the COVID and we know that for some teams, maybe it must be more hard than other ones or they lose the motivation or not. I think we, the fact that taking it as an opportunity and say, okay, we go all in, like just all, all in and then um, putting a lot of, of effort and trying to, to be very dynamic on the water and uh, very like, uh, you know, now it's with the pumping a lot and then 
putting a lot of uh, of effort, like strength in in the boat. I think this is something that really makes a bit of of difference. And maybe that's why also we we are trying to well or going more consistent. Really, to be able to get a medal, I think it's about uh, being uh, consistent, and but also like consistent in the water, but also getting there to the racing like calm and uh, knowing that you've done all the work already that you had to do these past four years and uh, being uh, confident that we are well prepared and uh, just give it our, our all and try to work as hard as ever. And uh, I think uh, that will, like everything will just follow. If you work really hard and you're confident, uh, you will manage to be consistent and that will give you the medal.